what we truly have always been after is authentic student voice, connection, empathy. Those are eternal skills, and they're not going to be bought by any kind of tool. I'm into people using technology to create human-to-human -human experiences and expanding their network to find more information and more people to connect with and collaborate with for new content. I'd like to see and apply these tools to talk about social justice issues um, that have historically happened um, in our communities um, as well as um, that are happening now currently for young people in this city, in this region, um, and in their schools. If she had a website where she could post her art and this stuff, people like Gal or all around the world would be paying her a lot of money for her Appalachian art. There are young people who really want to stay but feel like they don't have any opportunity. And then there are companies all across the state that need people. As our world gets more complicated and more sort of jarring, um, both in terms of our human landscape, but I think more importantly our digital landscape, what it requires is an ethical core. Um, it requires us to understand the values and the um, relationships and the purposes that we're here to do, and then hopefully technology will express that, not the other way around. We know in Munich Learning that in order to have competencies in the more technical and technological side of things, you must have humanities as well. And there are so many amazing artists and, um, and musicians and people who study philosophy and humanities in the Pittsburgh region who contribute to the ethics and, the, as Andy said, the why behind why we do any of this technology.